welcome back to the channel. So I'm here today at the World 2023 with Max Gavin from Red Wolf Airsoft, RWA. And we're going to take this round. Yeah, for sure. Let's get to the audio products that we have. Oh, so over here what we have is the uh, RWA BADAEG. Uh, we have two versions of it. We have the uh, LW556, that's a 45 barrel length. And we also have an SBR that I'll showcase in the base. So, this is a dual license product. We have a battle arms license and uh, forge manufacturing. Uh, we have license all over the place. Grip, even take down pins, selector. Mad catch, uh, and then a bolt release, uh, barrel, uh, gas block, muzzle brake, and rail. The rail's a low profile one, M lock, ready to go. But if you guys have tried with M lock, you guys will notice it gets tricky sometimes because you have to make it perpendicular or to lock it tightly. If you do not, don't. What? I'm doing a Oh, I'm doing a Talk to you later. Alright, so sorry about that. Uh, so we have a low profile M lock rail. It gets tricky because it times it perfectly. If it doesn't time perfectly, it will come off. Here's a catch. The Fortis rail, actually, it's a freaking catch. So now you can install ah. everything on there securely, everything nicely. Once it's done, we install it back, align the teeth, and close it up. Now it has no wobble. Very cool. Over time, the screws could get loose. All you need to do is just Tighten it, yep. and it will lock everything in place all over again. Perfect. Inside, it's a B2 gear box. It comes with a rotary style pop up out of the box, functioning uh, dummy bolt release. It's a B2 gear box that comes with a gate after ECU. It's the RWA edition, uh, so out of the box you can program it, full auto, burst bar, binary, yep. you name it. At the back over here, we have the BEW style classical stuff. This AEG is rear wire, so this is your battery compartment, but it does come with the extension too, so it will fit any form of battery up to here. So this is for LiPo. If you run the theme ion, we even have a rubberized butt cap that can extend, like here. So that way it will cover Titan Power lithium ion 11 for 1 volt battery. Very cool. This is the 14.5 barrel length. It also comes with SBR. So as you can see, once everything is collapsed, this will fit in the backpack. Perfect for a quick game, skirmishing, yeah. speed off, you name it. Perfect. And that is our battle arms development AEG. Uh, so over here, what we have here is the uh, our new release 1911, the Warhawk. So this is an entry-level gun. This is our take on the Marie system. So when people that play 1911, they want it to be fieldable, field ready. What you have to do is buy a Token Marie MEU, mm -hmm. buy a metal kit, change out the springs. Yep. By the time everything's done, it gets super expensive. Now, this internally, basically, it's an MBU system but with a few modern day features to it. We got a tri-cut top, fiber front, blacked out rear sight, and uh, everything's full metal. It takes a magazine. We also come with a magazine where a high output valve is already installed. So it already kicks harder. Now, yep. some of you probably think, a 1911 has very bad gas efficiency when it comes to winter. We cut our frame for the hole, so it will take CO2 as well. Mm -hmm. So it's dual system, ready to go. However, I also know that some of you guys will probably be thinking, okay, these high gap buttons are much better. If you have one of these laying around, check this out. Come on closer. Pop this pin, lower. Get a Marie high cap lower. Install. And just like that, you have Double set upgraded to a 1911. Fast as fuck, boy. Yep, so now it's functioning. Uh, double set upgraded. So basically, it's an entry level pistol where uh, experienced 1911 techs can still tank them, customize them however they like. It's dual system ready to go. And if you want upgraded to a high kappa or even HPA tap it, this gun can take care of it. So those of you that follow Kelly, you guys know that she loves this pistol. This is the RWA EXA, dual license, low frame, agency arm slide set, uh, changeable backstrap, adjusted trigger, basically all the good stuff in a gun. Blacked out inner barrel for filming purposes, so that it will not look like a toy. And also filled out is covered. This is super uh, durable. Kelly has pushed this gun through what a plywood wall? Plaster wall. Plaster, plaster wall. Okay, yeah. Uh, jam it through there, and the gun still survives. <laughs> so 
this is her gun of choice. However, what's cool about this is we actually have threaded barrels and compensators for this so we customize it to look like these. Yeah. Different variants, different combinations. And we recently got the Ronin Tactics license so we can even build these now. So this is a RWA, RWC more like, the uh, Ronin edition. We got his signature all around it. It's Cerakoda into multi-cam black. So one eight eight and many variants.